Hi. Okay. How do we solve this problem here? Let's look at this one. First of all, you must understand that for a wave, let's say this is a y versus x graph. What is y? Y is displacement. X is the position. So, how do we get the... Okay, do you know that every point in this wave here, there is an angle. From here... From here to here, we call it one wavelength, right? One wavelength. One wavelength is also equivalent to 360 degree. Okay? So if I say this point is zero degree, this point will be 90, 180, uh, uh, 180, 270, and 360 degree. Okay? Now, but how are we going to determine, let's say, it's something very funny, or something, let, let's say, at this point, what is the angle here? So how are we going to find the angle Let's say, let's say this point is point A. How to find the angle of A? This is called the phase angle, we call it. Phase angle. Phase angle means the angle of various position in a wave. Okay? Now, so how do we get this? Actually, very simple. We just need to get the ratio. What ratio? For example, let's say from here to here, the distance is X. Here to here, the distance is lambda because it's one wavelength. So we can have a very popular formula here called one x over lambda. That means the ratio of the horizontal distance travel from here to here represents until a. Yeah? So this x over lambda equals to theta over the entire one two pi. Okay, so it's equal to theta over two pi. Okay, this is the formula that you need to know. Okay, for example. Uh, let, let, let's say this one is uh, the lambda is uh, let's say a uh, two meter okay this is two meter now and you, you can see that from here to here must be one meter so let's say let's say this is 0.8 meter okay so we just use 0.8 divided by two equals to theta over two pi the theta is the theta for the point a so in this case theta a you just do accordingly you can find in terms of radian right Okay, now how are we going to do this kind of question? Okay, let's let's look at uh, this question here. Now, but do you realize that this x and this lambda they must be parallel? Okay, but you see in this case, from here to here is wavefront to another wavefront, so that means from here to here is one wavelength, and this is the directions. Okay, so in other words, later on your x uh, must be also along this direction. You see the question? They say five meter along the wall okay five meter along the wall means what okay for example let, let's use a uh, um from from here start here okay here to to here is five meter okay here to here is five meter but this is not x because this length obviously not parallel to this lambda so we need to find the x equivalent from here to here which is parallel to this lambda so where is the x Obviously, the x must be from here to here. Okay, this is the x. Okay, now, now let's let's see. Okay, let's look at this. Let's concentrate on this triangle here. This this triangle. Okay, now this triangle. We need to solve to get the x. You know this thirty degree. This also thirty degree, right? This is also thirty degree. So by doing the tokaso, this five meter. This is 30 degrees. So by using the sine rule, sine 30 is x over 5. So x is equal to okay, sine 30 equal to x over 5. So x must be equal to 5 sine 30, right? 5 sine 30. What is the value? It's 2.5 meters, right? So that means the x is 2.5 meters. Okay, now very easy. Just sub back inside this equation. So x is 2.5 over what is the lambda? The lambda, they tell you already, is 10 meter. So this is a theta over 2 pi. So theta is 2.5 over 10 times the 2 pi. 2.5 over 10 is 1 over 4 times the 2 pi. So that one will equal to pi over 2, which is equals to 90 degrees. So where is the answer? Okay, the answer will be C.